You ready to go for a walk? Huh? Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. What's going on everybody? It's Jack. Welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to go over my five daily habits that I personally have used to get to sub 10% body fat. First habit I do on a daily basis is to go on a morning walk. And yes, we are back from Houston. So we have Maisie joining us on our morning walk. This is a combination of a lot of things. One, it helps me get my steps in early and often because I'm aiming for 15,000 steps right now on prep. Most people, I definitely recommend at least eight to 12,000. And this is a good way to get some steps in. Two, it helps me get some movement in the morning. It helps me wake up. It helps me get some sun on my eyes. Normally, obviously, if the sun's up, if not, it might be on a treadmill, something like that, if it's raining outside. And three, it just sets the standard for the day. We're gonna get moving. We're gonna get some blood flow. And we're gonna have a good day. And I don't know what about it, but just going on a walk in the morning, it's pretty peaceful. I normally leave my phone inside, so I'm not distracted by alarms, emails, text messages, anything like that. It's just Maisie and I walk around the neighborhood. And yes, this is a fasted walk, but it's not fasted for any specific reason. It's just I I just want to get up and go. I don't want to have breakfast. I actually have my breakfast afterwards, but it's one of those things where it's not fasted for any specific reason. It's not like fasted cardio or fasted steps is better than any other kind of steps. It just happens to fit the routine best. But um, yeah, we're gonna finish this walk, Maisie. She is just like a little pig, I swear. Maisie, what are you doing? Maisie. But yeah, we're gonna finish our walk. Normally Maisie goes to the bathroom at some point and then we'll head over to habit number two. Habit number two is some daily cold exposure. Let's hop in and talk about it. So habit number two is gonna be some daily cold exposure. This is a cold plunge, so it's a little bit more intense, but a cold shower works just as well because I know a lot of people don't have access to this. But I'm typically doing this not so much for the like thermal effect, although that is something that's beneficial, but it's not as strong as a lot of people think that you get in here, your body starts to burn belly fat and things like that. But your body does need to warm itself up afterwards, so that kind of plays a role. But for me, it's mostly the mental side of doing something hard every single day and starting your day with something hard. So it's more so the mindset of it and how I get that kind of build up that resistance to stress in my body the mental fortitude that kind of allows me to have. And a lot of people think it will suppress muscle hypertrophy or kind of have some sort of impact on your strength gains. In my opinion, I do it in the morning as far away from training as I can. I don't recommend doing it right after training if you are trying to build muscle, but it's one of those things where let's say it's impacting my muscle building by 1%, but by getting in here, having that mental fortitude, starting my day off on the right foot, doing something hard, allowing myself to do something I'm not motivated to do, but still do, that might give me a 1% buffer in the gym because I'm feeling good, my joints feel good, and I'm motivated to be there. So it might be a slight trade-off, in my opinion, it's worth it, but the biggest thing here is it's something hard, it's something I'm never really motivated to do because it doesn't feel good. Like once you get out, it feels good, but while you're in here, it doesn't. So it's one of those things where it is like the ultimate, like hard thing to do to start your day, some sort of cold exposure, and for me, I've just noticed a huge change. If you guys do want to learn more science about it, Andrew Huberman has a great podcast on cold exposure. Also, I have a video on my channel about my first 30 days doing this, and I think I'm a little bit past day 100 now, so I might actually have to make a new video for you guys. And also, no hands in because of how lean I am currently. My circulation already isn't great um, because my body fat is so low, so we're keeping the hands out because once again, we're more so going for the mental part of it, and the hands just, in my opinion, they make it that much harder with very little benefit. So we're just gonna rock and roll for three minutes today. Yeah, we're gonna rock and roll. So we have about 15 seconds left. I try to do three minutes every single day. Once again, cold plunges are great. Cold showers are just as good for some sort of cold exposure. We got eight seconds left. And then, yeah, we'll go on to habit number three, which is actually just after this. But a little head dunk for funsies. Never gets easier, but still feels so good. Habit number three I do just about every day is to start my day with some protein, and typically my go-to is a protein shake with a piece of fruit. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, I think I've been doing two scoops of protein and a banana for about two years straight now. Um, once again, protein just goes in here. I do have a little bit of almond milk. I eat about 12 ounces of almond milk for two scoops and then eight to 10 ounces for one scoop. Prep does have me a little bit lower on my calories, so sometimes on prep I only do one rather than two scoops, but I'm using the Transparent Labs 
This is the vanilla, but you can see 28 grams of protein right there. So two scoops of protein with a little bit of almond milk gets me nearly 60 grams of protein in the morning, which is a huge protein bomb. It'll set me forward in terms of hitting my protein goal. Also, I've been fasting for probably maybe the last 12 hours or so, you haven't had a meal when you wake up. So for me, when I wake up, I wanna get some protein in. Whey protein is a quick digesting protein. Get that muscle protein synthesis back up after we wake up. And then as far as convenience goes, I don't think there's anything more convenient than putting a couple scoops into a shaker bottle and shaking it up. I mean, I guess maybe a protein bar is a little bit easier, but you probably need two protein bars, maybe even three to get the same amount of protein. And then a piece of fruit, once again, just to kind of start our day off with some fruit. I personally love bananas, but you could have an apple, strawberries, blueberries, whatever you want. But habit number three, start your day off with some protein. In my opinion, nothing's better than a quick protein shake. Habit number four of the day is going to be resistance training or some sort of strength training. So we're packing the gym bag today. I got legs, but some sort of resistance training every single day. Well, I guess I should correct that. Not resistance training every day, but some sort of movement but resistance training as the core of that movement. So on my rest days, I'm always doing something, right? Whether it be golf, hitting some golf balls, sand volleyball, pick up soccer, intramurals, some sort of rec league, something like that, just to get the body moving. So we'll call it workout and active recovery every single day. So when I go to the gym, obviously, we wanna lose body fat, not just body weight. So body weight, you just need to be in a calorie deficit. You could eat Twinkies, you could eat McDonald's, you could eat anything, Doritos, and not leave your couch. As long as you're eating less than your body's burning, and your calorie deficit, you'll lose weight, right? But we wanna lose body fat and maintain our muscle. And a big part of that is resistance training. Making sure we're going to the gym, training our body through full range of motion with resistance, full body, legs, guys, don't forget your legs, arms, back, hamstrings, glutes, all that good stuff. And giving your muscle a reason to hang around while you're in a calorie deficit. Obviously, pair that with some protein and you'll be good to go. Focus on fat loss, not just weight loss. I'm gonna head to the gym and I'll see you guys at habit number five. Our fifth habit of the day, honestly, as I've been going through this, I could probably make another video. So if you guys do want another video, like maybe 10 or 12 habits, leave a like and let me know down below because there are definitely some I missed throughout the day. But by far the most important habit of all time is gonna be to log your food intake. That is by far the single most important thing. And the more you log your food, the better you actually get at not logging. Because the more you log, the more you actually see how much your food is, you see the calories, the protein with each meal, that kind of thing. So the more you actually log, the better you get at not logging. So highly recommend that. But personally, I just use my fitness pal and then a little food scale right here, handy dandy. It has grams, it has ounces. You guys have seen me use that probably a million times before on the channel. And by far the most important thing is to be in a calorie deficit, how do you know if you're calorie deficit? You log your food intake. So we have one last meal right here on the day and I always just go and make sure everything's logged. So I have meal one, two, three, four. Yeah, I got all my meals logged and my goal was 1800 calories. I got 1821. And then my goal for protein was 200, I got 197. So as long as you're hitting your protein goal, as long as you're hitting your calories with whole foods, you're gonna be well on your way to making the progress you want. But yeah, those are the five habits I've been using to get to sub 10% body fat. Once again, there are probably a few more um, that I could definitely add to the list. So I'll probably make this video again with 10 plus, but let me know some of the habits you guys are following down in the comments below. Without further ado, I'll end things here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Are you a perfect princess? Huh? Are you a tired puppy?